to my channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate Curl Smith Weightless Leave-In Conditioner. After that I'm going to be using the Giovanni Stronghold Mousse to hold my curls. And also I just want to let you know that today is the fourth day of my unwashed hair. I actually haven't done anything to it. I haven't actually refreshed my hair. I've just been at home. So, you know, there's no need to refresh it. I can't wait to show you guys the results. Previous to this, uh, about four days ago, what I used was the, the Curl Smith Weightless Leave-In Conditioner. And then after that, I used the Giovanni Stronghold Gel. So this is the result. It's fourth day, guys. Can you believe that? So today, I'm going to be testing out Giovanni's Stronghold Mousse to see how it would hold my curls and my wavy hair. As you can see, my hair is so frizzy and the curls are just tangled. It's just everywhere. So my hair needs a lot of moisture right now because it's so dry. I can't wait to show you guys the results. Keep on watching and then let's get on to the actual demonstration. Okay guys, I'll see you soon. To start, I used Giovanni 5050 Hydrating Conditioner before shampooing to detangle my hair. After that, I used Giovanni Clarifying Hydrating Shampoo to clean my scalp and remove any buildup from my hair. This clarifying shampoo is extremely hydrating and kind to your scalp and hair. It did not remove my natural oils and did not cause breakage. While gently massaging my scalp, this shampoo sets and lathers nicely my hair. So I didn't mind lathering the shampoo through my hair to help remove some product buildup. Most importantly, it's one of the best sulfate-free gentle cleansing shampoos I've tried. Then I used Giovanni Root 66 Max Volume Conditioner to add volume to my flat thin hair. I love this conditioner because it has good slip, volumizing ingredients and is slightly moisturizing. Finally, I applied the Girlsmith Leave-In Conditioner to my hair while it was still soaking wet as instructed. Hey guys, welcome back. So as you can see, my hair is still very wet. The exciting part is I'm going to show you the styling. I'm going to be using the Weightless Air Dry Cream by Girlsmith. And then I'm going to apply this hair styling foam. It's a Mousse Air Turbo Charge by Giovanni. First, I'm just going to section my hair. So I'm just going to use my brush to style it. And then I'm going to start from the back. Just grab a section gonna apply some more of these just a little bit got my water bottle spray actually I'm gonna spray all of this together first After applying the Curl Smith Leave In Conditioner to each section, I used my styling brush to help define my curly wavy hair and eliminate frizz once it was dry. Then I went on to style the top section of my hair 
is always a challenge due to my long hair. My styling technique is consistent with each section raking and then scrunching. I skipped the styling part on the right section of my hair because I wanted to speed up the video as it got longer. I decided to add more Curl Smith leave-in conditioner to the last front section of my hair using the praying method and then I proceeded to scrunch my hair. The next step is I'm going to apply the hair styling foam. By Finally, I applied Giovanni Styling Foam Mousse using the praying method and then scrunching. However, I wished I had added a bit more styling mousse because I only realized after my hair dried that I didn't add enough mousse to hold my curls, which is why my hair was also a little bit frizzy. Alright, so now that it's done, I'm just gonna use my shirt to remove some excess water. Okay, so that's done. Alright, so now that's done, I'm just gonna leave it as this. I'm gonna air dry my hair. I'm not gonna diffuse my hair today. I wanna see how it looks when it's air dried and then I'll get back. See you soon. Hey guys, I am back now, so my hair is completely dry. So I actually decided to blow dry my hair towards the end. I air dried my hair first about up to 80% and then the rest I decided to blow dry my hair because I was getting too impatient and as you can see it's already night time here. So this is the result. Now I'm going to tell you how I feel about this. It feels very light, well it's weightless, it's very light. I don't feel any weight on my hair and in combination with the mousse by Giovanni. My hair is very long now so I do feel a little bit of weight especially from here all the way down. That is why I'm very careful with the products I use because my hair gets weighed down easily and also I am thinning on my crown area as you can see here over here. I am very very careful with what I use for my hair because I don't want to show my scalp. Thankfully I've got very long hair so I can just part it as you know wherever I want to part it. I can never part my hair on the middle because otherwise you can literally see my scalp from here all the way to the back. I'm going to show you the back as well. <laughs> I just want to show you how long my hair is. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, I hope you guys like the results of this. <laughs> I quite like it. It's very light. I don't feel like I've got products on. It's very touchable. You can touch it. I have a little bit of frizz in my hair, but that's fine. I can live with that. Uh, frizz is fine. It gives me more volume because my hair is so thin. So you can see. So now I'm just going to this leave-in cream and it smells really nice. I really love the smell of this. It's a little bit flowery but not too overwhelming. Uh, the smell once you apply it on your hair, once it dries out then you, know, you can't even smell it at all. And then with this one, it has no smell. Well, it has a little bit, but it's not too strong at all. Let me know what you think. So have you guys used these products before? 
Just gonna tell you though that the result after using these products, uh, my curls and my waves are not really defined. I think because there's not much hold in it. So with the leave-in cream, there's no hold at all. I don't feel like there's any hold at all as compared to styling cream. But I have seen a lot of curly girls actually use this one as their styling cream. And with this one, it has a little bit of hold. As I was drying my hair, I didn't feel any cast at all. Like until now, there is no cast. Maybe there is only a tiny bit and I didn't even have to fluff out my hair at all, which is good. You know, I don't really like having crispy hair. I wouldn't say this is strong as compared to the gel that I used last time by Giovanni. Next time I'll probably do a demonstration with the gel and this leave-in conditioner. I like this because it's very light. I, and also, you know, it says natural infusion texturizes while adding body and volume to your hair. So yeah, I believe, yes, I agree. This one actually gives a bit of volume into your hair, as you can see in my hair. Because I think if I hadn't used this one, if I only had used this, I probably wouldn't get as much volume. I just hope that you guys really like this result. Frizz is fine. I'm actually planning to cut my hair. I'm gonna attempt to layer it myself or just you know, cut it, like trim it. Because I noticed that, you know, as my hair grows very long, it weighs down. I don't get enough volume on my roots and it just feels a bit heavy. Even though I don't have much hair, my hair is so thin. But I just feel that if I get a bit of haircut, if my hair is a little bit shorter, maybe up to my bust area, then that's fine. Otherwise, you know, I really like having long hair. So I don't know if I'm gonna cut my hair that I really love having volume and over here I'm not getting in a volume anymore because my hair is so long so let me know what you guys think uh, do you think I should cut my hair or leave it as is because I really like my long hair guys so my hair feels really hydrated and moisturized you know even after drying it I actually didn't use a diffuser I just used a blow dryer but placed the hair dryer a little bit further away from my hair that's why I have a little bit of frizz but that's fine let me know which products you'd like me to review next time so for those of you who are wondering what my hair type is my hair is a mixture of type 2a 2b and 2c so if I don't have products in my hair it's mostly around 2a and 2b sometimes it's 2c it depends on the weather so and also it depends on the products I'm using that's all for now guys and I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and I can't wait to see you next time bye for now